Volume with fractional edge lengths. This is a one inch cube. It has a length, width, and height of one inch. We use unit cubes to measure the volume of three dimensional figures. For example, this figure has a volume of eight inches cubed because it is formed by eight one inch unit cubes. In this lesson, we will explore the use of unit cubes formed with unit fraction edge lengths to find the volume of a rectangular prism when the length, width, and height are fractional units. Notice that the height is shown with four smaller cubes. Each of these cubes is therefore one-fifth of an inch in height. One-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth equals the total height of four-fifths of an inch. The width and length of this cube are also formed with four smaller cubes. Since both the width and length are also four-fifths of an inch, the width and length of each smaller cube is also one-fifth of an inch. Let's look closely at one of these smaller cubes. The length, width, and height are one-fifth of an inch. To find the volume of this tiny cube, we can multiply these three dimensions. One-fifth times one-fifth times one-fifth equals one over one-twenty-five. The volume of this cube is therefore one over one hundred twenty-five inches cubed. How many cubes form our larger figure? The top layer is made of sixteen smaller cubes. So the top layer of the cube has a volume of 16 times 1 over 125 inches cubed, or 16 over 125 inches cubed. The second layer of our figure is also created with 16 smaller cubes. So the second layer also has a volume of 16 times 1 over 125, or 16 over 125 inches cubed. This is true for the third and fourth layer of our figure as well. If each layer has a volume of 16 over 125 inches cubed, the total volume of our figure is equal to 16 over 125 plus 16 over 125 plus 16 over 125 plus 16 over 125 or 64 over 125 inches cubed. This is the same result as multiplying the original figure's length, width, and height. Four-fifths times four-fifths times four-fifths equals to 64 over 125 inches cubed. In this lesson, you learned how to calculate the volume of a figure with fractional edge lengths by using unit cubes with the appropriate unit fraction edge lengths.